To other news, members of the Education Committee of the National Assembly are this hour the Moy Girls School as they seek to get an understanding of the circumstances under which a student there was defiled. They've spent the entire morning listening to accounts from various people, including the boarding mistress as well as the deputy principal of that school. We're now joined by Jackie Mariba, our reporter. Jackie, what else can you tell us from there? It's interesting insights now that we're getting to hear the side of the school on this particular matter. And we've heard from the matron, from the boarding mistress, from the deputy principal in charge of administration. And basically that means in charge of uh, the boarding sector. And what they're telling us now is that the initial alarm uh, was raised at around 5 in the morning. And that's when uh, the girls had gone to basically wake up uh, the matron at that hour. The matron then says that uh, she immediately contacted the boarding mistress. The boarding mistress says she was called at 5.08 on Saturday morning. She woke up her deputy boarding mistress and together they just moved uh, from where they live, which is not uh, quite far from the Elgon Dome that is in question. And they were able to make their way towards uh, that particular dome where they found what they're describing as commotion. Some of the girls were already outside. And um, I beg your pardon, as they tried to move inside, now I'll just try to paint a picture uh, for you. The matron's residence is just next to uh, the Elgon dome, separated by a door. And uh, this particular dorm, uh, the distance from there and to uh, the washrooms or the bathroom cubicles where this assault is said to have happened is 17 yards. And the matron says once she alerted the boarding mistress, the boarding mistress was the first person, in fact, to have made her way into this particular dormitory and walked into the cubicle where uh, the said girl was. But she was not, as the boarding mistress says, in her own cubicle. She was in her uh, schoolmates uh, cubicle and she narrates uh, that on that morning she found uh, three girls who had been uh, said to be assaulted by three men who had accessed uh, Elgon dormitory there was one more girl who narrated to her that sh she had actually cited one of them but had not been assaulted and it is at this point that they took all four girls with the school nurse uh, to the Nairobi Women's Hospital. Later, the matron was asked to go to Kilimani Police Station to record a statement. From that end, then they handed over the issue to the school principal, to the CID officers and the police that were on scene after that. So the Parliamentary Committee on Education just seeking to get clarity on what happened on Saturday morning as well as get answers from uh, the school administration. We've not been able to hear from uh, Madam Florence Omusula, who is now uh, acting as the principal of the school. This coming after uh, the principal, Jal Murray, the opted for an early retirement. Remember, she was meant to resign next year. But we will be able to get more once we are uh, able to speak to them or once the committee continues with their fact-finding mission here at the Moy Girls School, Nairobi. Details of which we will further break down to you in our subsequent bulletins. Freddie. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie, with that update from uh, the Moy Girls School here in Nairobi, where members of the Education Committee spent the entire morning listening to accounts from various people, including the boarding mistress and the deputy principal of that school, with regard to what happened uh, with that defilement case over the weekend.